Hello, Libra. Welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for June, looking at the energies of June, what's coming up for you in the month ahead, what divine guidance is here for you, what messages come through. So let's get started, shall we? So this is a general reading. Pick what resonates and leave the rest. So interesting, the cards that repeat uh, in these June readings, despite all the massive shuffling I do. So it, it does seem that uh, there are some similar uh, lessons, energies that are coming up in the collective. So, all right. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So if you would like a reading where I tune into your specific energies, there's a link in the description box below where you can schedule a reading with me. I do psychic readings. I do coaching, uh, ascension coaching, coaching um, on any skills that you have that you want to develop or any skills that you're interested in developing. Um, house healings, business healings, business coaching. So you can look at business energetically, look at your business energetically. Really, there's a lot there. So go take a peek, schedule a reading, and then I get to meet you in this one-on-one -on -one space. So, all right, Libra. In the past, you were in the three of wands in reverse. can't move forward, can't take action, um, unable, unwilling to move forward. Feels like there's something, an idea, passion, a spark at least, but I can't move forward type of energy. I'm afraid to move forward. I don't know how to move forward. Maybe any or all of the above. Hmm. I can't move forward and I'm tired of sneaking around. I'm, I'm tired of hiding my moves. I don't feel like I'm moving forward. I feel like I'm stuck. Wow, this is a lot of stuck. Or I'm stuck. I'm tired of, of sneaking around. Uh, so are you sneaking around about? What are you sneaking around about? I feel like this is more like hiding who you are. Yes, hiding what your passion is. So this, you might not be fully out, fully out in the world with who you are um, and what you're interested in, what you're passionate about. And that has in the past kept you stuck. Like I, I've got this thing I'm very passionate about and I want to move it forward. But I, I'm sneaking around. I, I don't feel comfortable with who I am or I don't feel like I would be accepted if I told others. And so it just kept you really stuck. Yeah. And also that's like a an act of... Um, not loving yourself, that something is wrong with you, that you're hiding who you are. It, it, if you're hiding who you are, then you don't believe that who you are is good or is worthy or is valuable, that that part of you, it, it feels like you a mismatch with your environment or the people in it. And you're trying to, Fit in as best you can and to your own detriment, to your own detriment. You're more concerned with how others are perceiving you than really, truly loving yourself. Wow. 
Oh, interesting. So this lack of really loving yourself and accepting who you are has had created in the past, then the people around you also don't love you for all of who you are. They love you for bits and pieces or only the parts they're interested in. So it, it it's, looks like in the past that that lack of self-acceptance of all of who you are and what you're interested in and putting others first created an environment where others were kind of using your, using you, not really loving you. Your lack of self-love created a, a, a mirror, a reflection uh, from your environment of not loving and caring for you either. Oh, I've been in this energy. I recognize this. It's it's tough. All right. Uh, in current energy, we've got the Six of Swords. So you're moving towards calmer waters in June. Moving away from those choppy waters. Um, feels like a lot of thinking, trying to figure something out, moving towards peace. Wow. Yeah. So it looks like you, you, you're starting June with moving away from whatever is causing conflict. Whatever is causing you mental conflict, for sure. Moving to calmer waters. It's the time to heal. Quieting your mind. Going within. Recovery. Feel like you're kind of turning off. I feel like the, this is almost like a... I don't want to hear any messages. I'm maybe you're going um in you're retreating. There's no communication. I feel like it's purposeful because what I'm getting is that you're you're kind of going within to find your answers. Smart you. Oh. Well. So you, ah, interesting, interesting. You cut off communication. You go within to heal. You leave, first of all, you leave, you go within, you cut off communication and uh, hello, some, someone new shows up, someone very loving. This feels about mid-June mid to later, maybe three weeks in, maybe this is around the summer solstice. So 21st, somewhere around there. It feels like you get, uh, this doesn't have to be romantic. It can be someone who is loving. Very, very new, very different. I have use this deck for months now months now and um i've never seen this side so it's a vice versa tarot deck so there's images on both sides so we get a different perspective so there's the tarot meaning the typical and then there's a different perspective and i've never had knight of cups from on this side i've had knight of cups show up like this in readings but i don't recall ever seeing this side so this feels very new maybe hiding in plain sight i've had access to see this image but i have yet to so maybe this is someone after you clear your energy you realize there's someone there. Maybe it's been it's someone who's been there the whole time, 
but you've been in a on a dif different frequency, a different vibration. You've been in a lot of this, uh, not knowing your worth, not knowing your value, not really loving yourself. You're learning how to love yourself so you can attract others who love your who are that reflection. When you love yourself, you start attracting those to you who love you. That's what this feels like. This might be someone who's already around you. This might be someone new you've never seen before, but it feels very new. I, ooh, I don't feel like you trust this energy in June. You're very wary. This person comes to you with that emotional heart space and it looks like you're in your mental body. I mean, you are a Libra. You feel very comfortable in that headspace in your mental body. I think this is... Uh, um, This person is coming to you upright. I think what I'm getting is after what you've gone through, you're more in your mental body and it's hard for you to access your heart. Your heart might be too wounded to, um, to process this in a, in a way I feel like, um, feel like it's really nice. You know, I'm working through some stuff. This is a bit much, but it feels nice. It feels supportive. It feels like a reminder it, um, that you are loved, that pe you are attractive, that people want to be with you and around you. And it feels like June ends with kind of you slowly finding your stability and security and safety. And it is a slow energy of moving forward very slowly. I'm okay. I'm going to move forward with the stability. I, I know I'm going to make it. I, that there's this feeling of I'm going to make it. That feels really good. That security and that belief, like, I, okay, I know I'm going to make it. I'm not sure exactly everything, every step of the way, but I'm moving towards um, stability, security, and abundance. And the center of your reading is the hermit. Yes. So it feels like, June, much of June is really being in hermit mode. Hermit mode is um, going within to find your answers because that's where all your answers are within. Finding that light, finding that divine light within, finding that guidance, healing. And until you heal this it's nearly impossible to move forward that it, it definitely you have it it's like I, I need to deal with this this is so much so much I have to process this I have to integrate this I have to um I have to heal I have to love myself enough to create a healing space for myself. And then I can think about what I want to do in moving forward, heal first and then move forward. I can't take action until I heal. I don't even, I'm not even the person I'm going to be when I take action until I heal. I don't want to take action from a wounded space because that's, I will receive the results of that. I want to be strong and steady and secure 
and move out from that energy. Your challenge is justice. Your challenge is, oh, indeed. Your, your challenge is to allow karma to deal with those who have been um, I don't know, those who you want to, those you feel have wronged you, betrayed you, hurt you, not loved you. Allow, just accept it like, okay, they showed me who they are. Do I like that? No. Can I change the past and what's happened? No. They allow people to show you who they are and like, and just observe. Don't try to change or fix them. I feel like in this reading, at this point, what you're being asked to is see who they are showing you who they are. Accept that that's who they are and move on, deal with your not deal with, but, but love yourself and heal. Healing, allowing yourself to feel the wounds in a healthy way so they can come out and up and express the woundedness in a healthy way so you can release that energy and kind of like Velcro, separating the woundedness from the wisdom and move forward with that wisdom. So you will make choices and decisions from this new standpoint of now I know this, now I know this about myself, now I know this about these type of energies, these type of uh, situations. And whoever I feel has wronged me, I'm going to let karma deal with them. I'm also getting that when you let go and let karma deal with uh, whatever energy you feel like you want to punish or get retribution from. When you let go of that, your vibration rises. And whatever game that you're in, like I'm feeling like there's the, this, you, you're no longer participating in that. And so this person's like, what? And your vibration rises and you start receiving good karma. You start receiving benefits of being in a higher vibration. And this person no longer has you there. And that's when their karma tends to show up. They're so... But I wouldn't say do that so they receive negative karma. Take care of you. Focus on you. Let go and let God. Uh, your challenge is to not sabotage, not self-sabotage because you have success. Success is coming your way. Maybe it's also challenging seeing yourself as successful, maybe doing some imagining. Right now, you might be viewing yourself as a failure or not getting it right or something like that. Your challenge is to see that this is happening for you, not to you. And also challenge to move forward which I've said several times the challenge is to leave the past in the past realize how to work with the pain work through it in healthy process processing it in a healthy way so you can release it and then take that wisdom and move forward so 
Whew. All right, Libra, this is your reading. If this resonated, please consider liking this video. It takes a half a second to click that like, and it does a lot for me. Uh, since this is a free reading, that would just be such a beautiful exchange that I appreciate. Also, any comments, if you want to comment and share with me, I love, I read every comment and I, I respond to pretty much every comment as well. So um, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. I do daily tarot readings. And so if this resonated with you, uh, you could get this daily tarot readings in your inbox daily. Did I say daily enough? <laughs> All right, Libra, take care. Bye.